It's one of these places I always wanted to go. Everything was made of stone. The houses, the path, the bridge, stair stones, stone walls. At the end of the settlement, in light grey, the facade of the building was contrasting the valley, looking like a small chapelle resting peacefully next to the river. The concrete facade was raw, the water left vertical strange on the concrete, telling the story of time. The volumetric overlapped in a complex yet simple way. The hard shadows revealed connections between the three volumes and created new geometric shapes. I felt this building did not belong here, but has established itself in the space and will now always remain here. The door is avoiding coming to the ground. I had to use the hanging step that was sticking out of the back facade. It felt exciting to have the keys to this place. After closing the door, my body calmed down, my breath and my heartbeat got slower. Inside here I could be in the valley, in the forest, in the desert. I wouldn't notice, I wouldn't mind. Because I was looking for this place, which understands and reflects myself. Crossing the small step into the second space. With a new height and depth, I felt like transitioning into a new part of my life. The indirect light shining through the ceiling filled up the whole room. Those of some black sculptures spoke to me like forgotten memories. They were not imprisoned here, but preserved, joining the timeless quality of the space to form an inseparable symbiosis. The echo was vibrating through the linear space, connecting me to the ups and downs of the building. In the third room, the space absorbed and united me with an unreal consciousness that decided to live in the museum. The space was my teacher who left me alone with my thoughts, fears and hopes. I wanted to scream as I knew the space understood me and the weight on my shoulders started to ease. With its cold concrete walls, the museum is not made for people, but it feels like it has feelings and memories on its own. I could hear it breathe, I could hear it say goodbye when I left.